it turns out no actually uh, when we take a look at at this when we take a look at the real world network this is the web graph the web graph uh, and uh, broader uh, compare the the page and the integrate to the page the number of reference and and uh, they found they found they found that uh, the distribution of the degree uh, of the of the degree um, and the number of pages it obeys power laws right power laws distribution that is um, uh, the equation would be on the next two slides so it means that you take log of the the x axis and the y axis you get straight line right? it, it have like the power uh, relationship in the power distribution okay uh, this is the work uh, analysis of the power grid uh, by Barabasi and Albert um, again in terms of the connection the degree and the number of of node that have that behavior and you get the, the data that behaves this way that is you get about a linear relationship in the log scale right, for for the real world network this is the flicker uh, let me. Right. This is uh, the Flickr connection, Flickr short social network, and they also find that using log log plus, you get about linear with a specific slope. Okay, now let's take a look at the other way around. I really like this example because those examples are man-made, right? You can like so. What what you can claim here is that the thing that human made would obey power laws. Right. But well, that might be intentional, might be depending on like uh, behavior. But, but I would like to raise this example instead. This, these are biological network, right? the network about of the gene co-expression. Right? Co what is gene co-expression? Right. Well, uh, human DNA would uh, kind of transcribe itself. Like we have, human DNA is like the code, a right? helix code. Right? And then those helix code will be transcribed into things called the mRNA before being translated into protein to perform function, right? Uh, uh, biologists that studies or, or scientists that study um, genomics in, uh, in using gene expression would analyze this and then associate them with a different disorder, right? One way to do that is to analyze the core expression, the way that the gene express together when there are certain stimuli that happen, like once you got virus and without virus, if there are genes that express together, right? Like I, I just saw um, a paper uh, from my colleagues in Sri Lanka University. Uh, she, she shared that there are like, um, if you are infected with COVID, um, then uh, actually SARS-CoV-2 SARS -CoV virus got COVID. Uh, and you, you likely to have the expression rest in both interferon and another genes that kind of co-express together. But it's actually a, a kind of a way that uh, a lot, these, these are the two, two genes that the, the other one that is activated is actually allow COVID to transmit uh, through the body uh, faster than, than the other. So, uh, so, so caution is like if you treat using like gene expression way then that, of, of that one, which is often used in HIV, uh, might not be a good idea. So that's gene co-expression. Right? Gene co-expression network is uh, analysis of the gene that co-express together. Right? So if they co-express together with high degree of correlation, for example, you've got like 0.8 correlation, then uh, you can have like the two genes connected. So analyzing gene co-expression network, uh, they find that uh, in terms of the degree and the number of genes that are connected together, it actually obey uh, the power law as well, in terms of gene expression, relationship, nice. So that means actually our body and it will our body actually obey these power laws. Again, this is the protein-protein interaction network, the PPI. Protein-protein interaction is the uh, the network that explains the interaction between protein. That is, if one protein happen in our body, in in the the organism whether that would suppress the activity or enhance activities of another protein, right? So scientists study this and then draw this network up, analyzing this network, they find that the network also obey the power laws. So the degree in logarithmic scale and the average number of protein in that degree obey power laws. 